What if we told you that roads can now be built underwater? And no, we are not just making things up. The Chinese and Bangladeshi governments have pushed the boundaries of road construction by unveiling the first ever underwater tunnel in South Asia. Situated beneath the Karnafuli River in Chittagong City, this expressway costs more than a staggering $1.1 billion. To be honest, we expected it to cost that much and maybe more. If you are taking roads from land to water, then you have to pay a handsome price for such an ambitious project. More than just an eye-catching mega-project, the underwater tunnel is actually a tribute to the founding leader of Bangladesh, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, and was officially opened on October 28, 2023, by the Prime Minister, Sheikh Hasina. Now that that is out of the way, join us as we discuss the incredible $1.1 billion underwater tunnel. Without a doubt, this will be a jaw-dropping video. Let's begin. Chittagong City the largest city in Bangladesh by population, is also home to the country's largest seaport. Historically, this buzzing city has been a pivotal hub for foreign trade, accounting for 40% of the nation's industrial trade output. With 80% of Bangladesh's revenue dependent on international trade, the significance of Chittagong cannot be overstated. However, the city over the past decade has faced significant challenges. While the western bank of the Karnafuli River was bustling due to its closeness to the port, the east became more like a forgotten suburb. There were no roads and the residents of Chittagong relied solely on ferries to cross the river. Residents said it took them long hours to cross to the other end as others also queued up to make use of the boats and ferries, and this often resulted in traffic congestion. Furthermore, there was a larger plan to connect upcoming projects like Bay Terminal, Materbury Deep Seaport, and a seaport jetty, promising further industrial growth in the region. Because of these, something urgent had to be done, and an underwater tunnel seemed like the perfect idea. The Bangladeshi government invested about 40% of the total budget of $1.1 billion, and the Exim Bank of China funded the remaining 60% in building this underwater tunnel. Work commenced at the site in December 2017 and was handled by the China Communications Construction Company Limited with Mr. Yu Zhengtao as project manager. It was set to follow the One City Two Towns model from China's Shanghai and would transform Chattagram into a logistical hub enhancing connectivity between key economic corridors. But a project this unique was always going to have some obstacles. One major obstacle experienced by workers was the complicated geology of the Bay of Bengal, where the tunnel was directly linked to. To tackle this, the Chinese company designed and manufactured a tunnel boring machine with a diameter of 12 meters effectively handling the underwater tunneling problem. Entering the tunnel, the road is clean, flat, and well lit. The outer diameter of the tunnel is 11.8 meters, while the inner diameter is 10.8 meters wide. As for the main tunnel, it extends about 3.32 kilometers and features two four-lane tubes, with each of them spanning 2.45 kilometers. Complementing this, two 5.35 kilometers link roads at the tunnel's western and eastern terminals, along with a 727 meter flyover at the Anwara end, were constructed to elevate regional connectivity. The tunnel's design allows vehicles to run at a maximum speed of 80 km per hour, even though it resides at an impressive depth, ranging from 18 to 31 meters beneath the Karnafali River. Although there were lots of difficulties, the Chinese company completed the project with high quality and efficiency. The company first compiled a technical guide for the project, which follows Chinese standards, including those for roads, bridges, and tunnels, to help develop and improve related work in Bangladesh. The positive impact of the Karnafali Tunnel couldn't be overemphasized upon completion in 2023. One of the numerous benefits is the fact that the Karnafuli Tunnel will undoubtedly alleviate the traffic scene at the port city. Previously, connecting the banks of Patenga and Anwara posed a formidable challenge as the only passage then was the Karnafuli Bridge at Kalurgat, leading to increased travel distances and exacerbated traffic congestion. 
travelers to Cox's Bazaar faced similar detours, compounding congestion woes, both intercity and intracity. But with the tunnel, movement across the river will become smooth, and travelers will be able to reach Cox's Bazaar and Banderban swiftly. It will also eliminate the need to cross the Shah Amanat Bridge over the Karnafuli River. The tunnel also serves as a key link for the Marine Drive Road from Chattagram to Cox's Bazaar, unlocking tourism potential in South Chattagram and Cox's Bazaar. It facilitates easy access to attractions like Parky Beach in Anwara, ultimately enhancing the region's tourism appeal. The Karnafuli River, with its vital maritime access to the Bay of Bengal, is essential for Chattagram Port, local industries, and the Bangladesh Navy. Building a tunnel was the only solution to preserve these crucial assets while addressing the city's transportation challenges. The tunnel is expected to provide support to the Korean EPZ and the under-construction China EPZ. Meanwhile, several major industrial groups have secured land for future factory development. New efforts are underway to construct 80 industrial facilities spanning textiles, shipbuilding, food processing, steel and cement along the Karnafuli River. This will accelerate economic progress, raising living standards and employment opportunities in the southern region. Adding to the list of positive impacts of the tunnel, it will connect to the Asian Highway Network, enabling cross-border movement of goods between India, Bangladesh, and Myanmar. This, along with enhancing Chattagram port efficiency, will greatly boost road-based cross-border trade. Being a part of the China government's One Belt, One Road initiative, it will also provide a key link in cross-country transport corridors. The tunnel serves not just as a transportation route or boon to the economy, but as a symbol of the nation's progress and development. With great expectations towards the engineering marvel, the country is ready to dive into the mighty river of opportunities. Interestingly, the project created more than 5,000 jobs, trained local people in infrastructure construction skills, and promoted local economic development. It has also attracted a lot of commendations and positive reviews from the general public and those who were part of the building process. The tunneling technology applied here is for the first time in Bangladesh. Bangladeshi engineer Shahiduzaman said, adding that as an engineer, this tunnel presented a remarkable opportunity for him to learn about something. Belt and Road Initiative and this tunnel will play a great role in improving Bangladesh's economy, noting that it will connect Chattagram with Cox's Bazaar and Matarberi Deep Seaport through an alternative route. The project is a huge gate to open tourism, especially in the southern region, since those who come from Dhaka or outside Chattagram will arrive at the very fastest time. Speaking about the tunnel in 2023, Bangladeshi Road Transport and Bridges Minister Obaidul Qadir said it is a monumental achievement to usher in a new era of communication within the South Asian country, marking a source of immense national pride. The inauguration of this remarkable project will herald Bangladesh's entry into the era of underwater tunnels. Economists weren't left out as they anticipated a game-changing impact of the tunnel on the country's economy, communication, and tourism. They forecasted it would boost Bangladesh's GDP by 0.166%, while also yielding the financial and economic internal rates of return at 6.19% and 12.49%, respectively. Also, during a routine press conference in September 2023, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Mao Ning said his country will continue to collaborate with Bangladesh in future projects. As a friendly neighbor and strategic partner of Bangladesh, China will continue to work with the country to advance high-quality BRI cooperation and support Bangladesh in realizing the Sonar Bangla dream at an early date. This was a clear indication that it wasn't the first time both countries had joined hands to work on a massive project. Bangladesh was the first South Asian country to sign a Belt and Road Initiative Cooperation Memorandum of Understanding with China, with the two countries having had fruitful, high-quality BRI cooperation in recent years. Finally, the Karnafuli Tunnel will connect the proposed Asian highway to the Dhaka-Chattagram-Cox's Bazaar Highway, 
and will reduce the distance from Chattagram to the southeastern sea beach town Cox's Bazaar by 40 kilometers. Also, saving time and money in transporting goods within the country's largest economic zone. That's all for today's episode. What do you think about this project? Let us know in the comments section. Also, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks for tuning in. See you in the next video.